Hey guys, it's almost 9 p.m. and uh, I'm actually jumping on one of our clients' coaching calls. Uh, you know, and other than that, I have finished two calls before this. I woke up at seven, so I just had a small meal as well. So that was pretty much how I started. And uh, yeah, let's get the day going. Today I have one podcast. Uh, I'll probably cancel a different podcast I have. Then I'm meeting a previous podcast guest I had, uh, you know, for a different potential partnership. Then I have another call at 3 a.m. In between that, daily communication team tasks, my own tasks, you know, which are miscellaneous along with that, obviously working on the strategy of the company and helping few portfolio answers. So that was pretty much how my day will be. Let's get to work. Wow. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta fist each other. <laughs> hey guys, I just finished interviewing Tyler. I mean, this dude is awesome. He's actually a 19 year old broke dropout as well. He dropped out of college with $80,000 in debt. Then he actually, before he dropped out, he, he read the four hour work week book. Then he sneaked into an event which was happening, which was a paid event where he needed to pay $5,000. But he did, his, he did his magic to reaching out to the creator of the event and saying, hey, I'll work for free. Like, just let me into the event. And he actually did meet, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, the author of four hour work week, Tim Ferriss there, it was pretty cool. And from there, he actually learned the book, uh, you know, publishing, and he saw the commonality that every public speaker is actually a book author, then he started, he he did a book about that, then he got his early success. And uh, then everybody asked him how he did it, then he started helping other people market their books. Now he has 4000 plus best selling books under his belt with his clients, obviously, you know, and he runs a company called Authors Unite. I mean, he actually does this not with paid advertising, not with LinkedIn, not with cold email, but he actually does this, does this with a very interesting strategy called partnerships. And he gave the entire playbook away on this podcast. We didn't have enough time because we actually talked before the podcast for the first few minutes. It was fun chat because he was in Vietnam and we had few stories to share before the podcast. Then uh, we had to end the podcast because he had a hard stop as well. And I have a different call as well coming up. But we will do another part, uh, part two for the session. He really enjoyed it. So, you know, I mean, he literally fills out website forms, which are available. He does tens of thousands of them every day and he get great partnerships from other people who refer him overall. And he did that for like 13 years and no wonder they're an eight figure company. And it's the simplest playbook I've ever heard. So, you know, very interesting overall. So I liked it very much. It was very interesting. He's a very good personality so far. I really enjoyed the conversation and I'll be booking him with uh, me for another episode. But it was really fun interviewing Tyler. So I have a few more things to be done before the end of the day. And let me get some work done. And I'll catch you guys in a moment. Bye-bye. Another beautiful morning view. 5 a.m. right now. Hey guys, what's up? It's almost 5 a.m. and I'm almost done with my day. I have a bunch of tasks which are still left. Uh, you know, could be following up with my team, shooting a few videos, uh, updating our internal modules and updating a few SOPs. At the same time, uh, planning for a few marketing campaigns we are about to do internally along with portfolio. So that's pretty much the day. And I was realizing like sitting down, I actually done one thing interesting here. You know, while I'm actually working on something, I actually finished the book uh, Zeroism by Zero. It's not written by Zero, it's written by the God, uh, the guy uh, Brian Johnson, who I actually admire. I've been lately following his stuff and uh, it's getting more and more interesting. And uh, yeah, I mean, Zeroism is, I'll sum it up in a few sentences. It's like just realizing the concept and submissing uh, ourselves that we don't know what we don't know. And it exists, the truth exists, we just don't know. And it actually kind of challenges, I would say it's, it, it doesn't challenge but directly, but it goes in a level deeper uh, for the first principles thinking it's like you think about first principles you, you get to the fundamentals to think about anything but in zero uh, you know principle or I would say in zeroism like you just imagine the impossible and uh, and he is talking about like the gen zero which is what he's uh, interesting term which is coined by him I don't know if it's coined by him or not but you get the point uh, you know in his book he's talking about and uh, yeah he's talking about an approach human life and you know the earth the mother earth along with ai if these three things can align and have the same common vision and will build an algorithmic approach powered with ai and have common goal you know he was talking about interesting things we could achieve something which we don't imagine possible right like you know like i'm able to shoot a video right now and you know you guys are watching and it's 2024 uh, year 2024 and but if you talk about 1940s and you imagine like something like YouTube exists and you can do vlogs and people can watch from anywhere in the internet, it doesn't sound like a possibility, right? But it happened. So 
uh, technology can only progress and uh, we are very on the edge of creating super artificial intelligence which is super smart than us i mean it's already smarter than anybody else but you get the point like we won't understand what even it's trying to do overall as long as we are able to align human goals earth goals and uh, you know ai goals together we could see a, a future which is exciting than ever before which is progressive than ever before so that was like the alignment and he was talking about how we can't trust our own brain and i like you know how we walk subconsciously without thinking he was talking about in future we will be living lifestyles to not die that's like his main quote you know don't die and uh, and we will just live uh, by an algorithm and you know he's proven with data that's what i love you know, he, we, we do this thing right like trust but verify he says don't trust just verify data is important so he's a very data driven guy which is something i observe i'm not 100% sold on living exactly like him because he's a guinea pig right now you know he's trying so many things mad respect i believe humanity will look back and thank him for the work he's doing and uh, but i am definitely trying to kind of apply the power laws you know spending the least and trying to get the most possible i'm talking about my time and energy uh, more than money anyway uh, you know like one of the things which i did like you know getting a boom band it could be taking my sleep more seriously uh, a little bit it would be or i would say you know trying to work out more constantly it would be or at least if i'm not going to the gym and trying to do outdoor workouts you know it could be an interesting thing for me like you know like simple laws like sleeping on time eating clean and uh, you know working out every day and keeping your emotional sanity on point uh, would would be like 80% of it then comes supplementation and you know the other things you could be doing which is nerdy stuff but i try to think about how can i do the least and get the most anyway uh, i was actually just realizing why did i skip the workout yesterday because it's leg day <laughs> and it is so subconscious i was like shit i just need to find out something to do which will distract me from not going to the workout so i you know i was just excusing the shit out of me and you know i've, I've been bicycling instead of uh, going to the leg day but i can't skip it uh, you know lower body strength is also important i didn't actually uh, work out my lower body for very very long time uh, you know i think i started doing it uh, once i'm actually the bicycle from last very few months uh, is when i'm actually uh, but i genuinely see the difference uh, in my uh, you know lower legs and uh, yeah some some like very few months before i actually started doing it but yeah my legs went from you know being like a little chicken leg piece to you know somewhere where i could you know stand steady and you know have some strength and not shake so easily and uh, i mean it's it's not explainable but you feel it you know when you are standing steady you know and uh, that's pretty cool actually i mean you know workout kind of gives that sense of accomplishment and discipline in me and it just ignites me so much and uh, yeah you know the oxytocin is great and uh, you know once i finish my workout or you know, the dopamine i get while i'm working out is just insane you know the toughest part is showing up in the gym that's the toughest part like that that's where you get you get all the excuses in the world to not show up you know my brain as i'm recording this video is thinking about a million things you know to avoid working out today can i work on some video today can i do something else can i check my crm can i talk to a portfolio company can i do something can i call my family like uh you know can i go cycling again it's just a million things happening but if you just let the algorithm you know define your actions because you know your your brain is not always in your best interest that's what i kind of almost you could say uh even if i don't agree i just need to kind of submerge to it overall you know which is what the zero is about and i will definitely partially practice it and uh, i'm definitely aligned uh, because of the logics uh, it was clearly satisfying uh, for me overall because we don't know what we want actually we just look for the temporary happiness and don't really care about the long term uh, you know of of humanity overall and uh, one thing he was definitely mentioning i remember the quote which i wanted to share which was about like the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago the second best time is today so if you're thinking about taking care of your health your wealth your relationship you should have done that long time ago if you haven't done that the time is now so take action on that and uh, that's pretty much it you know i already got my shoes on before i give some motivation pep talk so <laughs> i'll just shut the fuck up and go into the gym no matter what right now and that's pretty much the idea i want to escape it but guess what it's a reality and uh, i got to work my under body as well so that's pretty much it for now guys i hope i gave you a good summary of zeroism book by zero mr brian johnson and uh, i am definitely trying to incorporate his diet as well you know you could see i got a pimple right here uh, no it's pretty ugly anyway you know my face isn't that good anyway anyway
coming back, it's because I'm actually uh, eating a lot of outside food these days. I'm trying to eat like chicken and rice uh, most of the times and uh, not too much uh, like junk. You know, I haven't eaten burger or pizza in a very long time. Uh, but the thing is, even that oil which we are eating outside, like we actually use, uh, you know, uh, what do you call that, o olive oil right now in our home and uh, you know maybe some different oil as well but at the same time like these are like better quality uh, stuff overall compared to like i don't know what's used in restaurants i mean i would say dubai restaurants are better in terms of hygiene compared to india like because when i was in hyderabad when i eat some stuff outside bro especially when i'm eating something which is which is not in a good hotel you know sometimes you know for the taste or you know you want to try something new and whatnot it just reflects in the bathroom very clearly like you know your poop says it all <laughs> that's what i will say so you know and uh, yeah it's much better here but anyway still i'm trying to avoid but i'm too lazy to cook i don't know how to cook i don't know how to cook fucking rice so it is a problem and i have a flight on 16 so exactly 10 days from now so i'll be leaving dubai uh, for a month and uh, let's see what happens from there uh, i'll keep you guys posted bye bye i'm calling it somebody who is alone in the gym and you can work out every day you can't stop him that's not me that's not me i want to be that person but you need a tremendous amount of discipline to <laughs> to come to the gym every day when there is nobody like almost every time i come to the gym there is no one it's almost closed and i'm the first person to turn on lights but i don't think i'll do this every day but if i can nobody can stop me and massive respect to people actually hit the workout routine outdoor indoor gym calisthenics doesn't matter whatever it is just showing up for your body moving it a little bit we used to walk 11 miles a day on average to hunt before we are what we are today you know where we are actually you know producing food by ourselves otherwise we used to hunt you know and uh, we're not doing that anymore that's why we get little bellies and we sit around or stand around as well so standing is better than sitting anyway let me finish my workout. Once again, this is me, Sai, 19 year old broke dropout, turned millionaire, and running my own marketing agency. I'm just showing behind the scenes on what I'm going through on a day to day basis on Zero to Zillion channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Consider like, share, subscribe, and comment, and watch more of my vlogs on Zero to Zillion. This is me, Sai. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.